back to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm so thrilled to welcome you again and to be sharing with you another tutorial. In today's topic, we'll be talking about adding videos into letter frames using Canva. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and get started. So we will be opening a Facebook post size. Of course, you can use whatever size that you want, provided that um, it's something that you can add videos and you can add some letter frames. So just decide for yourself. But for the benefit of this demo, we are going to be using Facebook post. So I'm going to open one right now. And we have a white workspace. So I'm going to choose a background just so we can see something interesting behind our um, frames later so i'm just gonna choose this texture it's actually a brick texture there you go and where do we find the letter frames they're actually inside elements so let me click on elements and then the next step would be to locate frames all right so click see all so that you can see all the available frames so for this technique even if you will use a different shape or a different size or um, whatever it's still applicable but just for this tutorial we are going to use the letter frames so this technique actually may be familiar to you already you may have used it in the past maybe to put pictures on the frames or to display like say a mock up for your computer um i'm talking about this one there you go because you can actually put picture in here and pretend like it's your screen all right this is the purpose of the frame right here but now we are going to go ahead and look for the letters that we will be using for this exercise so i'm thinking maybe we should replace the background as well because it suddenly hit me that i want to use the word climb for us to um, illustrate this technique so i'm gonna replace it i'm just gonna quickly go back to background again and i will be choosing Using this all right so there's the mountain and climb as our word for the day so I'm gonna go back to elements real quick and then I'm gonna scroll down until I see the letters so this is a welcome treat from Canva actually because they have already arranged it accordingly so you won't have a hard time looking for the exact letters that you will be choosing so I'm gonna choose climb so C and then L i m and b so the technique that i'm going to show you right now this is a very good thing for your productivity um, i don't actually choose one at a time because if i do that then i'll spend more time adjusting the spacing adjusting the sizes and all that so i choose all the letters that i need and then select all and then resize them all at once so that they are of the same size okay so let me resize that some more there you go and then once i'm satisfied with the size of the letters i'm gonna go ahead and drag each letter out from the stack all right and then there you go arrange them and then make sure that they are aligned and that they have um, equal spacing in between all right, now that we're satisfied with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the size. I have selected all the letters and then increase the size and then make sure that they are um, looking nice <laughs> and decent. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly group this just so I can position them accordingly. So um, let's see if they look quite nice in the middle. Okay, I think I'm going to put it at the bottom layer right now and then just quickly um, adjust it and there. I think I like this better than putting them at the very bottom part of our um, photo. So there you go. Actually, you can change this and make it move as well if you want to have a movie background. That's also a possibility. But I just want to highlight um, these letters. So I just chose a static background so that we can highlight the movement inside our letters. Okay, so um, there's another quick thing that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna duplicate this right now so that I can um, work on it later. So I'm just gonna park this right here for now. 
Okay, and then I'm going to change the color of the letters to this. All right, and then one last, and then I'm going to group this also. Uh, oh, it's grouped already, so very good. And then I'll just um, keep it right there. Or I'm going to transfer it somewhere. No, it's it's good now. We're just going to transfer it later after we put the, the videos. So now I'm going to ungroup this and click on video so that we can choose our videos already. And then I'm going to type in here mountain so we can have some uh, mountain related videos. So there you go. And then we'll choose another one. Okay, this one right here. Now I'm just gonna adjust this. So you double click it for you to adjust and um, show the part of the video that you wanted to highlight. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna choose this one right here or choose something contrasting. Let's see if we still have some more. Okay, there you go. And then probably another one. Okay, here you go. All right, so there we have different um, photos. Maybe I'll choose lighter than these photos so that they're um, almost the same um, mood. All right, there. So I think um, probably we can um, choose this one. Okay, right there. Now I'm going to put this behind so that we can have a shadow effect. So I'm going to click on position and click on backwards. Okay. And they will be backwards already. And then I'm just going to quickly move it and then down using my arrow keys for good measure. <laughs> and then I'm going to adjust the transparency so that it's not too stark and it's not too dark for the shadow play that we just created. Now, um, if we preview this, it will show you that the letters are moving and that there's sound. So that's what we want to avoid. We want to remove the sound so that we can apply a different background later that has the same um, sound as the rest of our clip. So I'm going to highlight each letter and then click the volume icon and then mute it. And I will do that with the rest. And later, I'm going to quickly show you how you can actually apply just one video for all your letters so that um, you can also use that technique when you try to create this. So there, everything is muted already. We can go ahead and replay it again. Okay, there you go. There's some little movement there. Here, there's not much movement, so if you want to replace it, you can. Um, actually, I plan to do that right now. Let's see if we can um, get some more video with um, more movements. Okay, this one is nice. And then we can adjust. Okay, there you go. And then again, don't forget. <laughs> there you go, it's muted already. And then I'm gonna quickly um drag everything right here because it's more conspicuous this way probably here in this part there all right and then the next thing to do is to actually add our background so if you may have heard already canva has partnered with epidemic sound so anyone with a pro account would be able to add and use this background music under designs already so let me click the music icon and by the way the music icon or the music menu right here does not appear on all files so it will only appear uh, appear if your file um, actually is something that you can add music to. So if you are working on a resume, please don't expect that you will see the music menu right here or the music icon. If you are working on a letterhead, you can do that as well. If you are working on a poster, there would be no music background as well. So ideally, 
it's only for social media posts as well as probably some presentations. All right, so we're gonna um, type mountain here again. You can choose whatever music that you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna go and um, choose something that's related to mountain. Okay, that sounds nice. Um, let me choose another one and let me lower down my volume. I think it's too high. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay, this sounds nice. It actually sounds um, motivating enough. Okay, so I'm going to quickly click it. And then you will see here at the bottom part that the music has been added already to our clip. So we can replay it again or we can preview it. Okay, there's some drama, but you know what? I noticed that this clip right here where the eye is, is not really related to climbing. It's more of running. So we can replace that as well. Let me go ahead and choose another one. I think this one would be good. And then we will adjust it. Okay. And then, of course... Um, it doesn't look nice that way. So let me choose another one again, this one. Okay, and let's go ahead and make sure that it's muted. Yes, it's muted. And let's preview once again. Okay. That sounds and looks perfect to me right now. Of course, you can work on it. You can um, apply all the necessary details that you want, but I think you get the idea already. All you need to do is just to add some videos in each of the letter frames, and then um, you mute it so that you will have a unified sound, which you can get from the music menu. And then that's it. Um, that's just how easy it is to apply this technique. Now, um, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to show you as well how you can apply a single video in a bunch of letters so let's go back to frames and then choose abc <laughs> the simplest example out there okay so let's make it smaller and then we will um, remove them from the stack correct that and then we will choose some videos so just only one for this so maybe we can use this and then we can adjust okay and maybe extend it like that so that it covers um the letter a b and c okay and then we will add it to letter b again and then we will adjust and make sure that it covers again a b and c okay there you go let me just adjust this a little bit okay so right there in the middle all right and then the letter c same video and then we are going to adjust this so that it occupies a to c this is actually the principle so that um your video will come out like they're just one exact video on all three letters okay so i'm gonna mute this again to be sure that the sound will not interfere okay there you go it's muted so let me mute this as well and then again this one let me mute it okay just to be sure and this one as well okay so all zeros right now and we can um preview again and see what happens Okay, there you go. So this act, this technique at the bottom, the second one that I showed you is actually much cleaner and more unified 
um, in the way it looks and I think it adds more drama and um, something that I would apply if I plan to create this again so I just showed you here at the top and um, using the climb uh, as a word that you can use several videos and of course you can also use just one video so there you go I would love for you to try this technique and if you have any questions please do let me know I'll be here to help out just leave a comment and if you are not a subscriber yet I hope you can click the subscribe button and um, click the notification bell as well so that you'll be notified when a new video is up so that's it for today I'll be back with more videos because Canva has so many updates lately and I have written down everything and that will include stop motion videos and also other techniques that you might want to try on your end. So that's it for me today. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye!